make progress, right? But what you also want, apart from making process, or progress for that matter, is you want to keep making progress and you don't want to stop making progress. Because if you're on self-improvement long enough, like me, for example, you will love making progress and you will actually develop an ego for making the most progress and not having the most things achieved. Because let me tell you something, the guy who makes more progress is going to be the guy who wins no matter what. If there is someone in front of you because of genetics, but you make more progress than him on a daily basis, you are going to win against that person no matter what. So let me tell you today how to never stop making progress. But let's first define what progress even is. In life, making progress is realizing stuff. And many people describe this as learning, but I don't like the word learning much because learning is this whole process of realizing something. At the end of learning, there is a realization. When you learn about math all day long and you solve a problem in math, you then see, okay, this is how you do that. And then you realized the answer. So you didn't learn how to do it. You just realized Right, you realized, okay, this is how I do that. Okay, perfect. So you see that realizing things is really what we describe as, oh, I learned something. So don't say I learned something, but rather say I realized something. But because, because if we said realizing something as our goal, then we will be open-minded throughout the world. And then learning something isn't connected to doing the thing you want to learn anymore. Let me tell you an example. I learned something about discipline through rain, just through the rain, not through running in the rain or working in the rain, but just through taking a leisurely stroll through the rain. And I thought to myself, man, rain is water and water is life, right? Where water is, there is life. And then I thought to myself, man, this is a gift of life from heaven. And what is rain? Um, as the mental image. If you think about rain, what do you think about? You think of something negative, you think of something hard, right? In movies, when there is a when there is a funeral, it's always in the rain. There's never a funeral in a movie where the sun is shining because the sun is associated with something good and the rain is associated with something bad for some reason. And if we then think about, okay, discipline is going through hard times. Rain is hard times and rain is a gift of life boom discipline is good for you and this is how i realized this this is how i learned how beneficial discipline really is and if you go through your life with the intention of realizing things then you will be much less bound to learning math through doing math if you know if you understand what i mean and i know this seems kind of crazy but as soon as you realize this you will know okay well I have this problem that I'm trying to solve. Maybe this problem isn't this act that is going to complete this problem, but maybe doing this thing that has nothing to do with the problem will help me more because it will help me realize what the goal really is. <laughs> I don't know if you can follow me by this point because it's really, um, like, really complicated right now even for me to explain it, it takes a lot of mental energy and i think it's going to take a lot of energy for you to listen to this but the 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 conclusion that i came to when i realized that realizing is learning and that learning is realizing is that we should never stop realizing something in the way of going through the world and trying to learn something from everything. Look around in your room right now or wherever you are and try and take a lesson from one thing in there. Take this Bible and I could say, okay, this Bible is the word of God and made it through thousands of years, through literally thousands of years, this book, not this, not this exact book, but the words in there, they prevailed through thousands of years. And they are the truth, right? They are the entire truth. truth. The Bible is the truth. And therefore I see, okay, the truth will always prevail. This is a lesson I just drew, I just drew from my Bible and I didn't script this, right? 
I screwed none of my videos. I just said, okay, let me find something that I can learn something from. And boom, there was my Bible. And I thought, yeah, the, 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 the truth is always gonna prevail. And you might have one of those realizations now too. And you might see, okay, I can draw a lesson from my windows or from my walls or from my, from my bed even, or from, from some fucking random pencil. The key though is that you always go through the world with this mindset of trying to learn something from every situation and you are going to sprint through the process of making progress on self-improvement. Trust me, if you can learn something from everything, you will be a wise man and you will make progress like no one else. No one else is going to make as much progress as you do when you learn something new every single day and when you realize something new every single day. So the message of this video is kind of be open-minded and be open to learning something, even if it has nothing to do with the thing you're doing, right? Be open to learning something about sales from a bird who's flying through the sky or from the grass on the floor, or be able to learn something about marketing from your hat or from your shoes or whatever. Think about why you bought something, why you did something, why you thought something. Always think about the why and the what and the how, and you will learn. Think about why you bought the Bible you bought. Then think about why you are writing with a pencil you write with. Then think about why you are watching the videos you watch and why the people who make those videos want you to watch those videos and you will learn more from that experience than from any coach telling you anything about life. The best advice that I've ever given on this YouTube channel is to think for yourself and this is basically how to think for yourself in the best way. Master your mind.